Oh, hello, fine people, people of Facebook. I hope you can hear me over the fan. But I just wanted to do a very, very, very quick demonstration using, <clears throat> excuse me, my Iwata, which is a 0.2, which is the HB, HPB. Had this particular one for about two or three years now. Real workhorse, absolutely fantastic airbrush. I've got this dialed up to about 30 psi. And down here I have a cockpit of a 148 scale Bell X1 Edward, which I've just put together. The purpose of my little demonstration was this because I know this will probably create a bit of a ruckus and oh lordy oh lordy oh the humanity but look at this oh dear what am I going to use I'm going to ruin a perfectly good model putting through my point two a water Oh, I'm just going to load up the token amount, like so. Pull it through. And a priming we will go. Oh, excuse me. I need to also mention that I'm in Melbourne, in Australia. I'm an uh, expat. I've moved here from uh, southeast of England, Cambridgeshire. And it's been extremely hot and humid here the last few days. The humidity in Melbourne has been absolutely off the scale. My air conditioner is broken. I'll try and talk when the compressor isn't trying to interrupt. And I'm actually having no problems whatsoever getting this down. Here we go. I use this with every model I make. I know a lot of people hate this primer. I personally love it. Just give it a bit of a blow. And uh, just put the, put the inside here, which I'm going to paint this a beautiful khaki green. Won't pay too much attention. But my point is, is that I've been using this stuff religiously for the last two years and I've never had a problem. I've never had it scrape off, chip off. I've never had problems with it coming out of the, uh, the air gun, the airbrush, sorry. And it has just served me fantastically. Now, I still use, if I run out of the Vallejo or it's closer to hand even, because I've got um, all my um, primers and everything all on one big shelf. I still use the Badger. The Badger is great stuff. It absolutely is. And I think that um, with Paul and Ian taking that brand on, and um, without wishing to sound um, malicious, but rebranding it, I think was a smart move by them too. And I've got a lot of respect for them doing that. Um, I, I use Badger, I think Badger is great, but I personally don't think there is anything wrong with this Vallejo. Now, I will admit, I only use the black. Uh, occasionally I do, when my tiny little air compressor is finished, I will admit I occasionally do use the Russian red if I'm doing armor, which comes out beautifully. 
Uh, I do find that's probably a little less stable. I never use the grey um, uh, layer. I only use the black. And as you can see, it's just coming out beautifully. Now I tend to give that... <laughs> I'll, I'll, this evening, I mean the time now is, I don't know, I think it's about... Well, excuse me. The time now is about 8 o'clock in the evening and by tonight I'll spray over this and I'll put my khaki green into my cockpit so I can start assembly so um, I don't necessarily give that too much time to a um, little bit in the front here you're never going to see it but So because this is an interior piece, I will chuck this straight in. I will paint this, I will detail this, I will stick it all together and then enclose that when I do the fuselage hearts. But um, ultimately, when I would do the exterior, I will admit I will give it at least 24 hours to cure. Uh, and I will do that probably about room temperature. I'll bring it into my little work studio that I have inside and I will uh, just put it on a shelf there where the cats can't get it and uh, I will let it dry and then I'll start. I've never had any problem if I do the chipping. I've done a couple of models now where um, for example on uh, the last one I heavily chipped I think was the Misha Smith <clears throat> an Airfix Misha Smith, which I used the Vallejo Black on. This, Vallejo Black. And then went over that with the silver, used the uh, AK heavy chipping, heavy chipping fluid. Um, and it chipped beautifully, and I had no problems whatsoever. Uh, the same went for the uh, SDKFZ250 9. Uh, I used Russian red on that. Went over that with uh, Tamiya Brown, can't remember what shade, and done some extensive chipping on that and it held up beautifully. So I've had absolutely no issues, guys. I'm really sorry if you have. I do not work for Vallejo. I do not endorse Vallejo professionally. I do personally. I love it. If you don't, I uh, can dig that because there's plenty of products out there I do not like myself. But that's my personal experience with Vallejo. So anyway, stay happy guys. And um, enjoy your styrene snapping. <laughs>